The first call was to the chairman of the ethics committee. He listened while I laid it out for him, briefly, and all he said was, good, Frank, I'm delighted to hear it. And he would have John Bigelow get right back to me. Well, who's John Bigelow? He is the counsel for the ethics committee. John was on the phone to me within three minutes, and I laid it out for him in detail exactly what the evidence is, how and where it came from, why Kimberly turned it over to me, and then some pretty straight talk about why Ray was mad enough to frame me in the first place. John said, terrific, Frank, I'm delighted to hear this, and I'd like to set up a conference call with some other members of the committee. At which point, he said, they'll get right back to me. In three minutes, they called me up. I had to go through the whole routine again, and so... Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, we have a hearing scheduled. Oh, they don't waste any time at all. wonderful, Frank. Oh, great news. Are they going to subpoena Ray? And Kim. What's going to happen to Ray? That depends. On what? Well, after the hearing itself, the committee will examine all the evidence and reach a conclusion. That, that say that she set you up, she framed you, and ruined your career because she was jealous of you. Something like that. At which point, if prosecution is warranted, complaint can be filed, turned over to the Justice Department, and Ray will eventually stand trial. How long will that take? Well, it's pretty hard to say. The hearing itself won't last past tomorrow. They're fairly cut and dried. After that, Ray's lawyers will appeal, they'll stall, they'll fiddle around. So it's, it's anybody's guess. Well, that doesn't make any difference. What counts is the name is clear. <laughs> the name is clear, and you have free to run for public office any time in the future you decide that's what you want. I right, have son? to admit that thought has crossed my mind. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Frank, and for all of us. I wish Mary were here. She is. Ma, you haven't said a word. Come on. Oh, I'm just standing here thinking how proud of you I am. <laughs> and not because you can prove to the rest of the world what we've all known all along, that you didn't sell out and that your word is good. No, it's because you've come through all of this and more. The loss of your Mary, sickness of your child. With so much bravery, so much generosity of spirit, I admire you more than I can say, son. Here, here. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you know what gets me is why everybody's so surprised that it's Ray. Oh, I thought it was her all along. I said so. Yes, you did, Bob. You yeah, did. and I have a little less generous spirit than you do. I mean, I want to see her get what's coming to her. I suspect Ray is pretty miserable right at the moment. She hasn't even started to pay for what she's done. I mean, your only child, the idea of it being so bitter and angry to do a thing like this? Yeah, yeah I think Maeve's right. I think it's just beginning for Ray. Where's Jack? He's upstairs. Pounded away his typewriter. Yeah, he's getting all that background material organized. He wants to see you as soon as you're done with the family. Why don't you take care of business then, son? We'll see you later. Okay, come on, Bob. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm with you. And I think I better get to my soup. Now, you watch your time, young lady. Where are your bags? Out in the kitchen. All I'm right. all set. <laughs> so, I hope Patty doesn't hear the news before I have a chance to tell him and see his face. Uh, I think you'll beat the news to San Antonio. I only wish you... You could be here to share it with us as it happens. Well, I thought of postponing the trip, but then this really is the right thing for me to do, Daddy. The most important thing for me now is to take a fresh look at myself, think of the people I love, and some old feelings. And what better way to do that than to start a new trip? What a lovely room. Mr. Jones stays with us frequently. I hope Madam will be comfortable and return as often. Thank you. So do I. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, no, I manage very nicely. Oh, no, Madam. Mr. Jones will take care of it. Oh. Good evening. I knew you were the kind of person who unpacks the minute you hit a hotel room. Mr. Jones. You have nothing to fear, Miss Coleridge. Oh. There's no doorknob on my side. Oh. However, if you would like me to feel secure, you could leave the door open.
I don't understand a word of what you're saying. Having problems with your phone service? Switch to the Ewing family plan. Yeah, hello. 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 All friends and enemies, same low rate. He's going to regret what he said to me. No long distance or roaming charges. Gas up the plane. I want to fly to Abilene. Whether it's business. I had nothing to do with that counter revolution. Or pleasure. I'll bring a little lunch and uh, maybe some wine. Sign up for the Ewing family plan. That's wonderful. Dallas, today at 2, only on SoapNet. She's got a soft side. I've always wanted his approval, Mother. A wild side. I just wanted to let you know I know about you and JT, and you don't get your hopes up about marrying my dad. A dark side. But I'm not going to back down this time. Just don't get on her bad side. I'm talking about forcing dad out and making sure that he never comes back. Get to know Victoria Newman, Genoa City's driven daughter. I'm talking about a takeover of Newman Enterprises. The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Why do I use Neosporin? I've got my reasons. And now there's another. A study shows Neosporin ointment kills more types of infectious bacteria than even the leading prescription and helps cuts heal four days faster than a bandage alone. How many more reasons do I need? Neosporin. Every cut, every time. And to relieve severely dry, chapped lips, try Neosporin lip treatment. With my credit, I never thought I'd qualify for a new computer. But with Blue Hippo, all I need is a home phone and a checking account, and approval is guaranteed. We're talking to people who have discovered Blue Hippo Funding's guaranteed approval program. It doesn't matter if you have bad credit or no credit, because we don't check your credit. Your approval is guaranteed with just an active checking account. I started my own home business, something I never could have done without a computer. And if you call an order now, we'll include this ultra-thin 20-inch LCD TV complete with mounting brackets and speakers, absolutely free. And we'll also include this color printer, absolutely free. These accessories are free when you call an order now. I don't know why anyone wouldn't take advantage of this. It's a great offer. Mom, can I go on the computer now? Oh, just a minute. This is your chance to get a brand new brand name computer from Blue Hippo, regardless of your credit. And by calling and ordering now, you'll receive this color printer and this 20 inch flat panel LCD TV for free. So call in the next 10 minutes. Let's go now to Jorge Carmona for an update on the impending meteor shower. Jorge? That's right, Tina. The scientists here are saying that a direct cosmic impact will happen in the next few hours. To hold more unwanted things every time, use Glad Force Flex Trash Bags. Their unique diamond texture means you don't have to be afraid of overstuffing. For stretchable strength, get Glad. You know, we haven't heard word one about when we can expect you back. It's okay, Daddy. I'm not going to be gone permanently. I thought maybe after I stop and check on Pat, maybe I'd go out to the coast for a little while. Well, what does that mean? A little while? Days? Weeks? What? Well, I'm not sure yet. I just... Somewhere in between there. Let me stay loose on that for a while, okay? I'll call you up from San Antonio. Better call us up. How come? I think there's something more involved here than you're needing to be alone for a while or you're wanting to see your brother. What? Maybe it's because you know me so well. Siobhan, will you? Daddy, I can't please. explain it right now. Maybe it's because I really don't have it all straight myself. But I will. Trust me. I always have. Well, I have, sweetheart. I, in the most fundamental way. And I always will. Would someone tell me what's going on? I just called the office for Jill. George is hysterical. Uh, <laughs> is it true? Of course it's true. Maeve tried to call you. Yeah, oh. Frank has a hearing before the Ethics Committee tomorrow. That's only the best news in months, uh -huh. if not ever. <laughs> Where is he? Well, he's right here. He's right oh. here accepting telegrams, notes, apologies from the party. Oh, oh congratulations. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. I don't know what to do. No, so you're doing fine. Uh. <laughs> How do we celebrate? Well, maybe we should wait for the hearing to get over, and then I'd like to have a party for the neighborhood right here in Ryan's, if that's okay, Doug. Well, what do you think? <laughs> you. You're going to miss it, Fink. <laughs> ah, maybe not. Maybe Pat and I will come back. Siobhan's going out to San Antonio for a few days, Faith. Oh. Well, give my love to Pat, will you? I certainly will. One more question. Sure. What is Jill doing in a London at a time like this? 
Well, Ken had some more personal appearance contracts that he wanted to get out of. He asked Jill to handle it. I was supposed to go, but then Kimberly came over with the papers. So. Well, how could she bear to leave? I... Well, there was no reason why she shouldn't go. I mean, this, this stuff is very important to Ken. It, uh, I was very surprised. I mean, I, I didn't, I had practically had a shove around the plane. I didn't realize, I really did not realize the ethics committee was going to act as quickly as they did. Well, when's she coming back? Tomorrow, so she won't miss much. Oh, well, then I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Darling, heaven knows I don't want to be rushing you off, but I'm beginning to panic about that plane. Oh, hello, Faith. Isn't it splendid news? Oh, it is. Listen, yes. if I leave now, I'm going to do just fine. Have fun. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye. We'll call you as soon as, as soon as we know something definite. And we'll stand by. I love you. Love you. <gasps> oh! Daddy? You'll be good now. <laughs> okay, what else? Me! <laughs> oh, oh, my darling. All right, give my love to Patrick and get your head straight, please, so you can come back soon. <laughs> yes, 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 on all counts. Lots of love. Oh, you too, love. Well, I better get the taxi. Now, yeah. did you say goodbye to Jack? Did you help with that? No. Oh, well, I talked to him before I came downstairs, but he was working, you know, so. Will you send me his article? Oh, put it in the mail. Terrific. Another kiss. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's off! Yeah. Bye, sweetheart. You you call us when you get there, huh? Yes, I'll call for sure. There. John, there's just more there than we know, huh? Yeah, I think you're right. I only say that because I know that my peace of mind is your primary concern. Absolutely. Closet's over there. Thank you. Do you unpack the moment you get into your room? Always, unless you're next door, in which case I come in and talk to you. You haven't opened the chocolates. Look, I've only had two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Ken? Hmm? Somebody's gone off and left a closet full of things. No, ma'am. They're yours. I don't understand. Well, I wanted to give you a present, and I've got this old friend and the uh, fan in town who's a designer, so I called her up this morning and described you to her. Uh, there was a message at the desk. It was from Cleo. She said she had a wonderful time picking all that out, and if the sizes are wrong, just let her know and she'll fix it. Ken. Hmm? They're beautiful. They're extraordinary. But I can't accept them. Why not? It should be perfectly clear why not. Now that is stereotypical thinking. It isn't. It is. That is not a sexual statement. It's a present. In our society, when a man gives a woman a closet full of beautiful clothes, that is a sexual statement. Now how arrogant can you get? Listen, I know when I'm making a sexual statement, and I know when I'm giving a present, and the two are not necessarily one and the same. Listen, if, if I think something's going to give you pleasure, what difference does it make if it's a box of chocolates or dresses from Cleo? There is a difference. Says who? The uh, codes of Victorian behavior? The women's movement? Who? It's a matter of degree. Jillian, what are you doing? I don't know. I think I'm being ungracious. <laughs> because they're so beautiful. And I love the idea. I really do. And I think I understand where your head is about all of this, but... It's too much. Look, let me explain something to you. There is no such thing as too much. Not in the way you mean. Because money doesn't matter to me. I, I got more money than I know what to do with. Literally. Legally. After taxes. I uh, give it to causes. I, 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 I uh, give it to people who uh, need it more than I do. But still, it keeps coming in. So why shouldn't I call Cleo and ask her to select the 12 things she likes best from the current collection? And, and why shouldn't you take them if you like them? I can't think of a valid reason anymore. Hmm. Except. Except what? May I do this? Let me choose one thing, the most wonderful thing, and keep that. With shoes. Shoes, shoes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that pleases you, terrific. It does please me. And thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Which is the most wonderful? I don't know. How am I going to make up my mind? Look at this. 
She is a genius. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> hey, how about that blue in there? Oh, better and better. How old is she? Your age, not now, Matt. That looks terrific. <laughs> how am I going to see everything all at once? <sighs> Are you lovers? Oh, well, we were. We like each other better now that we're friends. Well, sometimes that happens. Hmm? I wish I could meet her. Well, we'll make the time. Oh, I don't understand this one at all. Oh, it's pants. <laughs> I have to try everything on. All right, okay. I will leave you now and unpack. And uh, what time shall we have dinner? About an hour and a half. Perfect. I'll wear my choice. Great. Can I uh, have a chocolate? Of course. <laughs> Me too. Of course. <laughs> Listen, if you like these, Harrods can send you a bunch. Uh, at fifty dollars a pound. Jillian. I, I know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. oh, heaven. Oh, take two. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> you bet. Ken. Thank you. I am so happy. That makes me happy. <laughs> Former fiance. He slept with her sister. Oh no. That girl's wearing the same dress as me. Drama queen. Ladies, don't forget lunch at my house Tuesday. We need to talk. I'm pregnant. Is it Taz? Or Jake's? For your friends. For yourself. Gifts for the soapy side of life. Log on to shopsoapnet.com. Find out who's the father of Phyllis's baby. Will she pay for her affair with Nick? The Young and the Restless. Tonight at 7 on Soapnet. Tonight on Soapnet. A mother reveals a staggering secret to her daughter. Josh is my son. But now, an even bigger problem. Does he know you're his mother? Will she be forced to tell him the truth? Watch All My Children tonight at 8 on Subnet. Without strong shoulders, who would support them? One a day wants you to stay strong for them. Because as early as 30, women can start to lose bone mass. That's why there's One A Day Women's, a complete multivitamin with twice the calcium of Centrum. One A Day Women's. Put life in focus with Sears Optical. And right now, get a complete pair of glasses for just $99. Includes no-line bifocals, hundreds of styles to choose from. Sears Optical. Wow, Jay looks fantastic. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi. Coffee? Yes. And this and this. You look amazing. What are you even doing? Eating breakfast. Really? Yeah, I have a special K breakfast. Bowl of special K red berries, fruit, and coffee. It's less than 250 calories for all this. It's no secret. Research shows women who eat breakfast, like the special K breakfast, way less. Oh, uh, all the same. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Take back breakfast today with the special K breakfast. Imagine a different kind of foundation that's actually good for your skin. Bare Minerals is a lightweight, loose mineral foundation that covers all your imperfections while giving you the look and feel of beautiful bare skin. You'll receive two foundations in your choice of four skin tones. It's a natural SPF 15 sunblock that protects your skin from aging UVA and UVB rays. You'll also receive warmth, a very special Bare Minerals that gives your skin the natural looking sun-kissed glow of health. And for the perfect finishing touch, you'll receive Mineral Veil, a feather light, completely sheer powder for a flawless looking airbrushed finish. Plus, you'll receive three professionally designed brushes. Just swirl, tap, and buff away the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, redness, uneven skin tone, freckles, and blemishes. Try Bare Minerals for 60 days. If you're not happy for any reason, just send it back for a full refund of your purchase price. Call 1-800-840-8595. For viewers from around the globe, DirecTV is bringing home a world of entertainment. Presenting World Direct Services. Over 40 channels of your favorite international stars and shows. The biggest TV hits from around the world, broadcast in 12 languages. 
World Direct Services from Direct TV. To find out more, call 1-800-378-3309 or visit worlddirect.tv. This suit is becoming a full-time career, let me tell you. <laughs> I started at 8 o'clock this morning. Oh, do you want me to help? No, no, it's finally done, dear. Thank you, just the same. You're not exactly dressed for cooking. Well, I must confess, I'm heavily into clothes at the moment. Oh. For the first time in years, I've just been shopping like crazy and being self-indulgent, and I love it. <laughs> Have you decided what you're going to do next? Oh, just more of what I'm doing now, getting myself together and taking time for me. Mm. That probably sounds very alien and simple to you. Oh, no, of course not. No, have you ever done that? I mean, have you ever, once in your life, taken a block of time and said, this is for me? I'm not responsible for or concerned about anyone but yourself. I'm afraid I have a reputation for being far more generous than I am, my dear. Nearly everything I do is for me, in the end. No, oh, no, I don't believe that. Hey! It's true. Anything I've ever done for anyone else has always come back to me a hundredfold. And that's in addition to the simple satisfaction of being able to give a helping hand to begin with. But even if you tried, I know you couldn't come up with one time where you said, to hell with the rest, I'm getting mine. <laughs> That's not so. Tell me. Well, there was the fair at Clonakilty, back home in Ireland. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> Ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd saved our pocket money for three months, all of us, all the small ones, Elizabeth and poor Dragon and Joan and myself. And then the whole family came down with the flu. Everyone but my mother and Annie and myself. Even my dad was not feeling so good, and that was very unusual because he was never sick a day in his life until near the very end. Anyway, that kabooks all the plans for the for the for the there. And so my mother and my sister were home with a house full of sick people to take care of, and I was needed. But I would not. I could not give up my fear. <laughs> so early on the morning of the fair, I was up and dressed with my money in my pocket and out on the Clonakilty Road. And I remember and the, uh, the cousins, the Donovans, they came along in a wagon and I hid in the hedgerow, mind you. <laughs> and then a couple of miles later, one of the other neighbors picked me up for the ride and didn't ask me any questions. And every step that horse took, I felt less guilty and more alive and more wonderfully free because I was responsible for and concerned with no one but myself. Well, if you're going to tell, tell me that someone came after you or the day was a disaster, I don't want to no, hear it. Oh, it was grand, my dear. I stayed till evening. I bought myself a hair ribbon, oh. and I tasted ice cream for the first time. And, oh, I lost two pence on the Wheel of Fortune. That broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a ride home, and I fell asleep in the wagon, and I slept all the way home. And it wasn't until that wagon stopped at my gate that the panic set in. Oh, I tell you, I stood a long time in the darkness before I walked into my kitchen. <laughs> and there was my father, sitting by the fire. And he looked at me. And I just stood there. And then he smiled and he said, Well, Miss Maeve, and how was the Clan Akilty Fair? And I burst into tears. Oh. And I cried myself to sleep in his lap. And no one, not anyone in the family, ever mentioned it again. Oh. And I didn't dare broach the subject, no. let me tell you. And so it occurred to me that a shared experience tended to last a lot longer because you could go on sharing it. And wasn't that an edifying story? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> and I should have known. Have you met uh, Ken Jones? Oh, yes. He seems like a lovely man. Oh, yeah, I have no doubt he is. I just wish Jill were here with Frank instead of off in London. Darling, it was Francis that insisted on her going. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, I'm so happy for him, Maeve. And I truly believe that... Jill has to be one of the most fortunate people in the world. Thank you. Miss Goldridge, Mr. Jones' table is this way. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Jones. Good evening, Miss Coleridge. Uh, Philip, may we see the wine list now, please? Certainly. Thanks. How did he know who I was? I just told him that when you came in the room, he would understand the meaning of the word beautiful. Next.
Seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on the young and the restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on Soapbed. Businessman. I'm not letting Dad win. Family man. Take care of your mom. Ladies man. Do you have any idea how much damage you've done? What a man. That felt good. Get to know Nicholas Newman, Genoa City's man on a mission. Dad may think he's won, but this is not over. The Young and the Restless, next on SoapNet. He's a new father. What we need around here is a mother figure. Will a baby reunite a past love and... Do I still love Carla? Two hearts could become one again. No matter how much you hate it, I'm who you want. Watch General Hospital, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. What the hell is your problem? I am not ready to be with one guy. I'm young and I want to have fun still. You can have all the fun you want from now on. Sick of this. I'm, just, I'm done. Chelsea, you're going to regret this. You just lost a really good guy. I want to wear something different, Mom, she said. Okay, a little independence. I'm all for that. Besides, what goes on the tummy, not nearly as important as what goes in it. I love your hat. <laughs> oh no. Turn around. He's right behind you. <laughs> Grab all the pillows you need. Every pillow's on sale. This week, only at Kmart. Some shrimp. We've seared our tuna. And when you're done, voila! New Meow Mix Market Select. With tender, juicy cuts of fresh meats and seafood, it's too good to put in a can. This is one of those moments when I know that there is nowhere else on earth I'd rather be and no other person I'd rather have with me. You are such a gifted man. <laughs> Yeah, I amaze myself. Oh, you don't even know what I'm talking about. No. It's not the music, or the words, or what you do to an audience. It's this wonderful ability to share your pleasure in things. It's so contagious. Everything becomes personal and fun and such an adventure. Oh, you don't believe me. You've got it all backwards. It has nothing to do with me. But it does. No. It's you, Jillian. You're the adventure. Don't be afraid. I'm not. Just that I don't exactly know where I'm going. I don't know what you really expect of me. I don't know what I expect of you. Just try not to plan. Just let it happen. That is so hard for you to do, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there's only one thing you need to understand about me. I don't make plans. I can't. I may be here today, but I could be gone tomorrow. That's the way it's always been in my life, and I have no reason to believe it's going to be any different now. But here and now, without promises and with no plans, I love you. Soapnet's got the skinny on Genoa City. Be there for all the breakups, breakdowns, and backstabbing action with the corporate kingpins and dazzling divas of this daring drama. The Young and the Restless, coming up next, only on SoapNet.